It's 623 now and the tax filing deadline is fast approaching. It's in exactly now one week, July 15th. This was pushed back from April amid the ongoing pandemic. Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers joins us live this morning. Mike, good morning to you. Uh, this year is really unlike anything we've ever seen before. So what's your first tax filing tip for those who have waited until this deadline? One thing Americans can do all the way up to, to the last minute and not everybody, but some can contribute to an individual retirement account or the common term IRA. And how that would work would be up to a certain limit. You could put money into that account, again, all the way up to the tax filing deadline and reduce your taxes dollar for dollar. But keep in mind, you've got two types. That one, that would reduce your taxes now, and then something called a Roth IRA that would reduce your taxes in the future. And that is even if, for some cases, you have a retirement plan at work. So that's something you could do now to help control taxes now or in the future. Some changes you can still make right now. And there's a lot of talk about taxes going up next year, even after that, to pay for all the stimulus checks that were sent out. So is there a tax planning strategy to do now to lessen a tax burden later when taxes are expected to be higher because of that? Yeah, you know, with that stimulus, it's estimated as of June, $26 trillion. That's $26 trillion of national debt. So it's not if taxes are going up, it's just when. And one thing that you could focus on, some companies have this, would be a Roth 401k or 403b. By putting money in that account, you're not getting that deduction now, but if taxes rise in the future, and again, incredibly likely, you won't pay taxes in retirement on the money that you contributed and all the growth in that account. So if you are a person that's okay with some short-term pain for long-term gain, I would certainly investigate that and see if you have the ability to do that at work. And if you can't, again, you can have a Roth individual retirement account. All right, and Mike, you know, the president has said there could be another round of stimulus checks. So do you expect people to wait until the last minute now to understand how their filing could affect a second potential stimulus since this is based right now on 2018 or 2019 numbers? Well, we don't know exactly how you're gonna qualify for the next round of stimulus. Obviously, we're going to get something. If it, if it is like the last time, some people would actually qualify in 2018 taxes and not 2019 taxes and vice versa. So if you believe that uh, that would put you in a better situation, 2018 taxes, and this, this stimulus works out like the last one, you can file something called an extension. Now, filing an extension means I'm not doing my taxes and submitting them now. However, Uncle Sam's not going to say, ah, you pay me later. They still want their money. The government needs you to write that check just like you would if you actually filed your taxes. All right, Mike, and really quickly, what are we talking about next week? Well, some advisors actually don't want you to know what your fees are. So we'll talk about looking for those fees. All right, Mike Reeves, Strategic Wealth Designers, we thank you.